Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of where the iterated limits exist, but the limit in general does not. Let me consider the function f of xy, which is x squared y squared over x squared y squared plus x minus y quantity squared. We'll do three distinct limits to see that the limit doesn't exist. The first one we'll do is we'll do the limit as x goes to zero last, then we'll do the limit as y goes to zero first of this function, x squared y squared over x squared y squared plus x minus y squared. And what we can see over here is as y goes to zero, the numerator is going to go to zero, but if x is fixed over here, then this term will go to zero, this term will go to zero, and this term will be a positive x squared, so this limit will be equal to zero. So that's what happens if y goes to zero first. Let's see what happens when x goes to zero first. If we do the limit, as y goes to zero, and then the limit as x goes to zero of this expression, we have an x squared y squared over x squared y squared plus x minus y squared. We see as x goes to zero, what we'll get is the numerator, that term will go to zero right there, this term will go to zero, and this term will be fixed at a positive y squared, so we'll get a zero over here as well. So the iterated limits are both zero, so the iterated limits of this function are both zero. But let's see that the limit itself does not exist. So now our question is, our question is to find what is this limit? Does the limit as xy approaching zero, zero of x squared, y squared over x squared, y squared plus x minus y squared exist? Well, as we saw previously, along both, as y goes to zero, that would be along the y-axis. As x goes to zero, that's along the x-axis. What I'll do now is I'll consider a different trajectory. I'll consider the trajectory in the xy plane, xy, and I will use this parameter curve over here, and this curve over here is going to be gamma of t, which will just be t comma t, and I will let t tend to zero, so my point will tend to the origin. So if we were to plug this trajectory in, I would have nothing more than just the limit as t approaches zero of t squared, t squared over t squared times t squared plus a total of what? Well, I'll have a t minus t quantity squared. And the t minus t is just identically equal to zero, so that's gone. So I have t to the fourth over t to the fourth, so this is nothing more than the limit as t goes to zero of t to the fourth over t to the fourth, and that limit is equal to one. So the limit along this straight line over here is equal to one, and that shows that the limit doesn't exist. Along the axes, the limit is tending to zero, but along this trajectory, this linear trajectory that goes to the origin, the limit is equal to one. So this example shows us the following. It says that even if the iterated limits exist, the limit itself might not. Thank you very much.